my channel. I am Jadi G. Those of you who are new, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this, um, my channel. Uh, I have to admit, I think I'm going to start doing videos like this or like this because I'm hearing a lot from per people I personally know. You're very animated and you use your hands a lot and I'm like, well, where am I going to put my hands? I am me and I really love me so um, if you choose to stick around I think you're gonna love me too. Speaking of love, this month we have Valentine's Day and I wanted to create a makeup look for you guys. I thought something fun and flirty, obviously it needed to be a little pink, a little bit of red um, with a pop of like shimmer. So I figured Valentine's Day is next week. Let me film something for you guys. And here it is. This is the look that I created. Um, I think most of these products are still available if not accessible to everyone. Um, so if you'd like to see how I came up with this very easy and quick look, keep watching. We're going to focus more so on the eyes, so my brows, concealer, and foundation is completely done. So we can just go straight into the eyes. I'm going to go in and use this Violet Voss Pro Palette. This is the Holy Grail Palette. I just feel like these colors in here are like perfect for like sensual and soft, but also like light and pretty. And I'm gonna focus on these like berry tones because it's a Valentine's Day look, duh. But um, to start off, I wanna use a good transition color. So we're gonna tap into this color here, Bestie. And we are going, and my mirror is on this end, so just in case, I'm not being weird, just my mirror is here. So I'm just going to grab a big fluffy brush and I am going to blend that into place, back and forth, and then blow it out. I like to kind of like not just keep it in the crease, but push it all the way out, um, close enough to my um, brows. Now that we have our transition color in place, we want to go in with our crease color and I'm going to be a little bold here and I'm going to use Wine and Dine. It is a deep kind of cranberry matte color. I'm going to use the very same brush that I used for the transition color, tap the excess off. Always tap the excess off. I don't care how pigmented an eyeshadow is or how little pigmentation it has. You're better off starting off with a little bit of pigmentation and working your way up versus overdoing it and then possibly ruining everything. So just tap it just a little bit and then pat out of place and then kind of blend it if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to pat it here just to kind of figure out where I want this. So that's where I kind of want it. You want to make sure it's like going to blend right and it's going to look really pretty. Reds and black are pretty hard to fix, so just start off really slowly and work your way up. I think right now I'm going to stop with the crease. I know I want to add a little bit more depth, so I'm probably going to go in with a dark brown color um, for the outer edge, but I want to apply my uh, lid color so that it'll blend out nicely, so I'm going to go in to this color right here it is so jelly it is really pretty the name of it is so jelly and it is really pretty it's a frosty kind of pink and it looks like it it was meant to be a dual chrome but it's really not so i'm just gonna go in and pat that all over my lid now that i have my lid color i'm gonna go back in to that cranberry color and um, I'm just going to kind of blend some more of that on to our crease just so that there's no harsh lines between our lid color and our crease color so we're just gonna blend that just a little bit not that serious but you definitely want to be able to tell the difference between the pink and the cranberry and to add a little bit of dimension on the outer end, I'm going to use a teddy bear. That's the name of this one. It is kind of, um, it is a dark brown, but I must admit it does have some red undertones in it, which is why I opted for that one and not this one, because brownie point is a little more on the yellow side. So I again tapped excess out, and we're just going to pat this on the outer end. I want the depth but I don't want to change what I have going on right now like in the rest of my eye so this is more so for like the outside 
and I'm just gonna blend like internally internally is it well I'm just gonna blend in just a little bit because I don't want there to be a harsh line between the pink and the brown and that is what I was looking for I'm glad this is working out because I'm winging this right now guys totally am winging this I'm gonna go back into that wine and dine the cranberry color just pick up a little bit of um, pigment and I am going to kind of blend that out under my eyes. I don't want it to be like too dark and stark, but I do want to kind of have the color wrap around and give it that complete look. I'm going to add black eyeliner. This one we received this month. Um, in our boxy charm box. I actually really did like this. This is the uh, vintage Cosmetics um, the smoky eye pencil. This one is in black I really did like it just because it did glide and Applied the pigment very well on my lids. It didn't irritate my eyes. My eyes didn't get watery and they generally do um, And it lasted very well. And it's really good for smudging too. I'm going to go in, apply mascara at the top and the bottom. This is what the eyes would look like without any false lashes. If you choose not to apply false lashes, I would advise to do like a black liner at the top. It does kind of make your top lashes look a little fuller. So that's a cool trick that you guys can try. But I am gonna go in and apply my falsies and I'll be right back. Here are the finished eyes um, with lashes. I personally do prefer it with lashes, but it's all each person's preference, if that makes any sense. So um, I'm gonna go in and finish off the rest of my face to kind of put the look together or complete the look for you guys. So um, I'm gonna use my trusty e.l.f. quad bronzer. The majority of the products in this video are all products that we received in our boxy charm. So for instance, um, the brush and this um, duo by Bare Minerals. I'm gonna use a lippy that I got by Boxy Charm. I mean, a lot of the items that I use today, like my brows, Boxy Charm. For the cheeks, I'm gonna go in with an Elf Mineral blush. This is in Jet Setter. I think it's so pre pretty, pretty. I think it's really pretty because it's like this taupey kind of pink, like a mauvey pink. So it's super cute and it does pick up a lot of pigment i'm using another boxy charm thing the brush that we received this month with the subscription service i am liking it a lot more for blush i didn't think i would but i do for highlight i'm gonna tap into this um six pan palette that we received by boxycharm as well i'm gonna use this gold kind of yellowy color because i think we have a lot of pink going on here so um, i'm just gonna pick some of that up and apply right there she's pretty and to finish off the look i'm gonna go in with this tardis lip paint this one is in Delish, and we're going to apply this on the lips. I feel like it's missing something, like a pop. Not that I'm not using enough color, but I'm missing a pop, so I think I want to put a little bit of shimmer in my inner tear duct. So I'm going to go in with this Cover FX Shimmer Veil that we received in this month's boxy charm and i'm gonna use my pinky to pat some into place in the inner portion of the eye so i feel like i need that pop this is the finished valentine's day look i hope you guys have enjoyed it information on all the products that i used on this video including foundation and concealer will be listed down below in the description box that is a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. 
don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.